We hope that you'll enjoy this episode. Just a reminder to subscribe to our channel and like this video. So the first step whenever you're whale hunting um, is to go ahead and open up your map. Now you'll notice we've got you know various types of sharks and whales um, images uh, throughout. So I'm going to go after this killer whale. I'll find a location that is close and I want to fast travel there. Once you get there, if you're not on your boat, get on it. Um, otherwise, open up your map again and then set a marker on that whale. It just makes it easier to navigate. Like all harpooning uh, locations, you will see the um, highlighted pillar above them if you're far enough away or the weather's right. But once you get close enough, you're going to see some birds, as we just saw um, up here, and a light blue, bluish white circle where you can begin harpooning. Sail into that circle and then hold down S, and that's how you'll start your harpooning. Now the killer whale um, is not the hardest um, to kill. They don't have nearly as much health as the other um, larger whales, it seems like. They can be a little bit more aggressive, um, just in their, their swimming pattern. But overall, um, you, with some practice, you should have no issue bringing these down, even with some lighter harpoons. Let's keep an eye out. Look out! Right. So the killer whale often will just come straight at you. You'll see that little wave from behind them. And if you can get them while they're doing that, you're going to take off a lot of health. And jump out of the water, and then he comes straight for you. So unlike you know, some sharks or other whales, it doesn't do a whole lot of uh, maneuvering that can make it hard to hit. You know, again, it just charges right at you so you can aim even when they're a little bit far away and still get them. And that is how you take down a killer whale. Alright, so to find our whale, we'll open up our map, zoom out. And then we're going to scroll around and look for um, a whale that we want to hunt. So we will see that we've got a humpback whale, which is pretty close. Um, but I'm still going to fast travel just to save us a little bit of sailing. So I'll pick a location that is close and fast travel. I'm not on my boat, so I want to go ahead and jump on my boat. Run up to my wheel. And then go ahead and open up my map. And then from here, you know, always want to set a marker. Um, at least I have found that that's very helpful. Sometimes you can get turned around going around some of these smaller islands and waste some time sailing out of the way. As you approach the harpooning area, keep an eye out for either a large uh, light colored pillar over the water or as you get uh, within a few hundred meters, it seems, you'll see the birds um, circling and then eventually a light colored circle in the water. You want to sail into this circle, so we'll see it up here. And when you do, you just hold down S to begin your harpooning. Now the humpback is going to have a bit of health, so having um, you know, the top harpoons, maximum number of harpoons, and preferably even good boat armor is suggested. Not quite as hard as the white whale, uh, but it can still do some damage. Alrighty, and I'm going to hold off on killing this one because I'm going to show you what he does with the There we go. And wind up. They it? typically have two actions, so this one looks like he's going to try to swamp me as he comes out of the water. 
Can I get the heart rate? You may need to go through that effort a few times, just depending on how strong your harpoons are. And that is how you hunt the humpback whale. Thank you for watching this episode. If you found this useful, please subscribe to our channel and like this video.